for SB 1297. Senator Morlock. <clears throat> Colleagues, it's an honor to serve with you here in the Senate uh, these uh, past three years. <laughs> and it's been a real learning experience uh, as I learned uh, the, uh, the legislative role. Uh, I was a partner in a CPA firm, and then I was 12 years as the treasurer of the County of Orange, and then eight years as a supervisor. And they were more executive roles, so it's a little different in, in this environment. So I've been here and, you know, as a supervisor, you had direct access to a CAO or to department heads. And uh, it's, it's just a little different here in Sacramento. Uh, so when we deal with departments, we get calls from constituents about concerns. Uh, we get jokes about the DMV constantly. Uh, we, we just approved Senate Bill 1, which requested $100 million in efficiencies at Caltrans. And that really wasn't defined, but that was certainly something that we were all aware of that had to be included. Uh, and when the state auditor just came out with a, a, an audit report on the fiscal lack of management for the, um, the um, excuse me, <clears throat> the uh, Mental Health Services Act, you know, it's like, okay, now what do we do? Well, what do we do? We, we, we hold a hearing, and so we get to see a department head maybe uh, once a year, but who does the follow-up? Our staff tries to uh, contact various individuals within departments to assist constituents, but in cities we have city managers, in counties we have CAOs and CEOs, but for this massive state, the top of the organizational chart is the governor. And this should be more of a, a policy role and position, while it also carries this massive administrative burden and it's a critical one, but it's a lot of work for one individual, you know, to rely on a strong chief of staff or cabinet secretaries. You know, we get state auditor reports and LAO reports, and, and I don't see much in the way of management follow-up on those reports. Comments about California being unmanageable are frequent in editorials on the editorial pages. And, and now we have a Cal 3 ballot measure that's saying, let's split up California into three states so it's more manageable and as long as I've been up here, I've been here in Jefferson State almost every month in some kind of conversation. So there's something going on. So as a Board of Supervisor from a county that went through a bankruptcy, it was very, rather tragic, but subsequent to that, we, we built some performance measurements. Uh, we called it Results-Oriented Government, ROG. We, we required departments to have annual business plans to match with the annual budget, and then we had those match with a 10-year strategic financial plan. So we had much more ability to see what was going on. I've asked for a 10-year financial plan from the CSU and UC system. Not going to happen. So it would be nice to see some more managerial oversight of this state. So I looked around, and the states of Oregon, Tennessee, and Missouri have established the positions of chief operating officers. SB 1297 proposes doing the same for California. Providing an administrative assist to the governor will promote numerous benefits, collaboration with department heads, ability to reposition staffing between departments, the focus on reducing waste and duplication, an increase in efficiencies, and hold agencies accountable by following through on negative audit reports and LAO studies. Now I know adding another layer of government is kind of anathema to a lot of us, but my mother always said you gotta spend a dime to make a quarter. And I think if we added this kind of uh, oversight uh, in an office of state operations, it will add value in multiples of the costs that would be incurred. So I, in that regard, I gladly accept the committee's amendment. This concept will provide a huge assist to future governors, and I respectfully request and I vote. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Witnesses. Witnesses in support? Witnesses in opposition? Turn to the committee members. Any questions? Senator Gaines. The, a statement. I appreciate you bringing the bill forward, Senator Morlock. And uh, we're fortunate, given your background, to have you here in the Senate and just making sure that we can try to run the uh, state of California as, as best as possible for our citizens. So thank you. Thank you, Senator Gaines. Anybody else? Well, Senator Morlock, we're, as soon as we get a quorum, we'll establish that and we'll ask for an, a, a, a motion and get this uh, carried out. Thank you. Sure. Or at least the process carried out. 
Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Okay, thank I you. Very short for you, buddy. <laughs> you did a nice job with that, talking about how we're different. 